Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is your Weather Extreme video for Thursday, December the 26th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. I hope everybody had a great Christmas day. There's a look at the Jasper Sky Cam, a little bit blurry, but uh, we've got some cirrus clouds in the sky, and we see some of those uh, cirrus clouds down at Dauphin Island, also a little blurry, the camera having trouble focusing this morning. At the uh, upper atmosphere, we're still watching and dealing with this long wave trough position over the eastern half of the country, and it looks like, if the GFS is correct, that we will be seeing that sticking with us for quite some time. In the meantime, surface high settling in over the Mid-South area. And that is keeping things uh, very nice. We will see some clouds passing through the sky from time to time. And there's some clouds across south uh, Georgia and northwest uh, Florida this morning. Uh, temperatures drop back. Not quite as cold as yesterday, thanks to some clouds that moved in. But uh, it looks like temperatures still got back generally into the upper 20s for the most part. And we do see on radar a little bit of uh, rain over the Tallahassee area, the Big Bend country of uh, North Florida. QPF-wise, uh, we're uh, making an adjustment to the forecast. As I noted yesterday, it looked like we were probably going to need to make an adjustment to the forecast, as uh, it looks like uh, the low developing in the Gulf of Mexico on uh, late Friday and Saturday will bring rain to the area Saturday, uh, probably not until afternoon, and then uh, continue uh, through Sunday morning. Storm Prediction Center is out looking no thunderstorms. Isn't that wonderful to see for the last few days of 2013? All right, the 060 GFS model run. And there's uh, our map for today, our surface map. And we see the high pressure settling in over Memphis in the Mid-South area. The high continues to be with us on Friday, but we begin to see some developments down in the Gulf of Mexico along the, the old front that's down that way. In the upper atmosphere on Saturday, we see a nice uh, low-latitude or fairly low latitude uh, trough coming across Texas and Oklahoma, and that, that will be responsible for helping to generate a surface low in the central Gulf, probably along the uh, north central Gulf coast area, and that will spread rain and clouds across central Alabama. Uh, as I say, probably uh, Saturday morning will end up being dry for us, but uh, with uh, cloudy skies, and then the rain moves in during the afternoon. For Sunday, that uh, short wave moves quickly uh, into the southern Appalachians uh, with a number of different short waves. We see a second one back approaching Chicago, back uh, to the west of that first one. And that will take the surface low up into the mid-Atlantic states. As I said yesterday, uh, we, we probably needed to adjust the forecast, but it does look like the rain will be ending. Another cold front is coming, though, behind that. And uh, so this is uh, kind of a double shot like we've seen a couple of times this year so far. Uh, the trough, uh, the long wave trough position uh, seems to amplify just a bit on Monday, the 30th of December, and that will bring cold air in. Now at this point, there are some differences in the models. Uh, let's back up just a second, and there is uh, the, the uh, European model for uh, sa um, Saturday, and the European and the GFS in good agreement of bringing in the rain. Uh, a slight timing differences. The European just a tad slower than the GFS, but the European taking the rain on out of here. However, that is where some differences definitely begin to develop because the European is definitely not bringing the cold air in to the extent that the GFS is, as you see from the GFS on the 30th, bringing the 540 line down, uh, you know, approaching about uh, Baton Rouge area. So it's uh, GFS is considerably colder, and I think the GFS may have the right handle on it. We do see a little dampening of the short wave or the long wave trough. We see a little dampening of it on Tuesday the 31st uh, and uh, brings a surface high into the area. So we see the air modify just a little bit, but not, not a great deal. But now we begin to watch the next big short wave coming down the west side, pardon me, the eastern side of the Rockies coming through the western U.S. And that is going to dive into the long wave trough position and we see that short wave amplifying as it comes across east Texas. Therein lies part of the problem because it looks like the cold air will be with it and the moisture will override that cold air and we could end up with a winter weather situation around the 2nd of January, kind of a week from today. Now, 
we're verging on voodoo country, but we've been watching this kind of uh, scenario play out, and the GFS, and we've got to give it credit, the GFS has been rather consistent with this whole notion and when we have these long wave trough positions over the eastern part of the country, you know, eventually um, the moisture and the cold air will arrive together and we end up with a winter weather situation. Now, we're not putting that in the forecast just yet because we're verging on voodoo country. So we're, you know, getting out a week into the forecast. A lot of things have got to happen here before this comes out to play. And as I say, one of the problems is we don't have consistency between the models. Uh, the, the GFS much colder than the European, so we need to kind of keep our eye on that. But one of the things that is consistent is when you look out further into Voodoo Country, the GFS has been very consistent with keeping a rather cold pattern over the eastern half of the country, and it looks like that continues. Uh, we see the uh, northwesterly flow over the eastern half of the country around the 5th of January. And then we see, uh, once again, the long wave trough position uh, nicely amplified around the 10th of January. So one thing for sure is it does not look like we're going to see any warm weather, uh, any nicely warm weather or extremely warm weather anytime in the near future. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this Thursday. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on Friday morning by 8 a.m. or so. In the meantime, I hope that you have a great day. Stay tuned for the blog for additional weather notes. Have a great day. And Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham. <laughs>